Hey, we got the whole gang right here. We got Megan, Amelia, and Julia right here from the Conic School of Irish Dance. And I've got my shirt on and with just all this kind of stuff. And well, this weekend, uh, we would have been out there uptown with all of you and all the kids and all the families and the parade and all this stuff for the 25th Charlotte St. Patrick's Day Parade. More on that just a little bit later on. Megan, I know that you were on the TV show. This is how much I love the Irish dance and the school and, you know, the formerly redhead thing and all this kind of stuff. Megan, I know that you were on the show a couple years ago. How old were you when you were on the TV show with me? I think I was eight when I came on my first time. Okay. You've been on a couple times, I know. Was it one of those shows where we were like outside in the middle of the mm -hmm. parking lot? It was still dark out, yeah. And was it really cold? Very. <laughs> I am so sorry. Well, we love doing This is how much I love doing it. And this is how much all the families and the kids love doing it because we wanted people to come out. And I think the last parade, uh, 2019, we had like 100,000 people out there. So it was crazy. So I'm sorry to have you out there and it was so cold when you were when you were little. But it that's kind of the fun, fun thing. We, we've had you all on the show a couple of times. Now, Amelia, I know you were on the show too a couple of years ago, right? Yes, I um, was actually with Julia as well. And I got with Hooker and it was like freezing. It was like 7 a.m. in the morning. I was tired, but it was fun. We had a pretty good time out there. And so, so Julia, you, you were out there as well. I do remember that morning because, yeah, it was in the middle of a shopping center. It was cold. At least we got to go inside for a little bit. Now, I always felt so bad because you all came out and you had all your, your gear on and everything and your dresses and uniforms and everything. Did you have to go to school afterwards, Julia? Um, actually, I performed in my school afterwards. So it was kind of like a you know, good deal, but it kind of worked. Yeah. It kind of worked. Now this now this weekend would have been the 25th annual parade. Big shout out to the Direhart family because they've been doing this for years and years and years. I was I was there for the first parade in Charlotte before any of you were even thinking about being born and all that kind of stuff. But Julia, you, you've been in a couple of the parades and the festivals out there. Any memories from being in the Charlotte St. Pat's parade? Uh, some of my favorite memories are when we'd all hold hands and do leap two threes together down the streets of Charlotte and we'd be waving out to the crowd and they would be so excited to see us. And I wish we could still do that, but hopefully next year. Hopefully next year. Everybody wear your mask and get the vaccine and, and we'll do that. Th th and you guys, and Amelia, I know for you all going out and being part of the parade, when you heard the people cheering you on or you do one of your big moves or something like that, you had to feel pretty good when everybody was hooting and hollering for you. Yeah, it's amazing to see everyone smile. And a lot of the kids actually try and copy us and it's very cute. And Megan, how about you? The parade was just a lot of fun, wasn't it? I love doing the parade, especially when we get to, I think it's Tryon Street, when we get to go up in front of all like the big cameras and we always choreograph some like huge like piece and we get to perform for them. Uh, that was always such a good time. I miss it terribly. Uh, again, big, big, big shout out to the to the family that organized it. It was a locally owned thing. They've been doing it for so long. Uh, Dire Heart Productions out there. Listen, we're going to have a link up to Conic, uh, the Conic School of Irish Dance at WCCBCharlotte.com. We're going to tell you what they've got going on. Uh, and they're doing some video pre presentations and all kinds of good stuff. But just, uh, hey, with, the, with the, the luck of the Irish, see what I did there and our fingers crossed and everybody wear green. Hopefully next St. Patrick's Day, we'll be getting back to normal because I sure do miss it. I know these kids do too. This is WCCB Charlotte. We'll be back. We have uh, members of the Conic School of Irish Dance joining us. We were talking last hour and I was uh, earlier in the hour, I was feeling very old because I think a couple of them uh, were on TV with me when they were like seven, eight, nine years old and tiny, and now look at them and all that kind of good stuff. So the Connick School of Irish Dance, there's a few schools around and, and, and you know, a little shout out to them as well. Um, people watching this, they love the parade, they love the festival, they can see the videos that we have right here. This is a competition. This is something where you all work really, really hard at, at this, Amelia, don't you? Yes. Um we practice all year round, like even during the summer, we have camps and um, we actually have classes Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. It's hard work, but it's worth it at the end. And that's one of the things that I love and miss about the festival, because a lot of people don't know the parade and everything. Well, that was a competition. I mean, it's a lot of fun, but that, that, that was a competition. I mean, there were I'd have to get up there on stage and say, first, second, third, which I, I didn't like doing because you all work so hard at this. Megan, what, what is it about Irish dance that you love so much? Just like, I don't know. I just love dance in general. I like being able to like perform for people. I love competing, hanging out with my friends all the time. It's just a fun sport. Yeah. And well, it definitely is a sport. I mean, it's a competition, but it's, 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 
it's a lot more than just what you're seeing on the river dance there people i mean they're they're working really hard right here now julia if somebody against all our our, our against all advisement if they want to if they've never done the Irish dance before, but if they want to give it a go, if they want to try, do you, do you have some pointers for somebody just a real quick, somebody who's never done it before and they want to try Irish dance? And what are a few little tips and tricks? Um, I'd say to keep your hands on by your side, close tucked into you. Um, stay on time with the music and dance with it. Uh, keep your legs straight, your feet turned out and crossed, staying up really high on your toes and smiling and keeping your head very high. I, I, I know I've heard a couple of the parents and the instructors, smile, go, smile. You want to smile the whole time. You've heard that, I know, Amelia. And one of the big things too, Amelia, is you got to point your toes, right? Yes. Actually, I have a terrible arch, but I mean, pointing <laughs> is a huge part of it. You got, you got to point your toes. And I don't know, Megan, I like pointing your toes and jumping at the same time how long did you practice that till you finally felt pretty good at it? <laughs> a while. Do you learn like little dances and then you get things down and then the more you go, the more complicated they get. So yeah. it's a lot more than just me jumping around. Like I would jump around and act like a fool. Shockingly, I know with you all, but it's, it's really tough. And I know you guys have some uh, performances coming up here in just a bit. We'll have that linked up for you. Those will be up on your website. I know. Uh, and you're doing a lot of videos for us and everything right here. But the big tips for poor, you, you got to arms by the side. That's the big thing, right? Mm -hmm. Arms by the side and jumping. Well, listen, big shout out to all the parents and everybody and all the families and everybody that would come out to the parade. We miss you. Big thanks to the Connick School and you all just, just keep on doing what you're doing and we'll hopefully get back out there next year. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. There you go. Good stuff. Have a safe weekend and just have a, a great uh, St. Patrick's Day, everybody, coming up here pretty soon. And again, a big shout out to the Dire Heart Productions family. Uh, we're really missing everybody this year. Hey, it's WCCB Charlotte. Wear your mask, get your vaccine, and be lucky, everybody. We'll be back.